We look to treat our patients with a full range of treatments for lung cancer. Patients who will benefit from surgery are generally referred following consultation with one of my colleagues in respiratory medicine. They would have been through a number of investigations, which would include scans such as CT scans, PET scans, perhaps a biopsy, and lung function tests. The purpose of surgery is to look to remove, where possible, completely a lung cancer with curative intent. Sometimes when this is not possible, we will work with our colleagues in clinical and medical oncology and look to provide a combined treatment. Surgery has recently undergone a number of revolutionary changes. We have newer techniques. Video assisted thoracic surgery or VATS is a well established technique for removing lung cancers through smaller incisions. Furthermore, we have access to an instrument called a robot, which is able to do the same job but through even smaller incisions. Sometimes, however, a small incision is not appropriate and we would use traditional surgery with a larger incision to make sure that a cancer is removed fully. This will result in the best long-term outcome for the patient. For patients with early stage lung cancer, surgery is often the only treatment that is required. Following surgery, there will be a number of post-operative checks to make sure that you have recovered from your operation completely. Thereafter, you will be reviewed in clinic and we will monitor you for about five years with a number of scans. All being well, you can then be discharged following this. Surgery can also be very useful in combination with chemotherapy, immunotherapy, targeted molecules, and radiotherapy. We are also investigating the use of newer cellular-based techniques. Surgery will often be performed on the day of admission or for some patients where admission is required the day before surgery and this can be facilitated. We will plan your admission to the ward through a process called pre-admission. We will look after you during your hospital stay and then following your discharge. UCLH also leads the country in clinical trials and research projects. Where patients are interested in taking part in such projects, we will be able to guide them through the process. Patients often find doing this will help convert the process that they are going through into one that will be of benefit for patients to come in the future. Mm -hmm.